In May of 08, I was resting on my bed when I had an open vision. At this time, I was living in the beach area, and I ha it had been raining for many days straight. We were under a flood watch, and as I sat up on my bed, I entered into an open vision. I saw the stairwell downstairs flooded to the top. And then I heard the Lord say unto me, Do not fear, for I am with you. I was all of a sudden in my kitchen looking at the pantry. I had just a few days worth of food stored away with no water to drink. The gas was out with no electricity. I immediately looked out my window and everything was under water. There was no one in sight all around me. Again I heard the Lord speak to me, Do not fear, I am with you. He began to tell me, This is coming in the area on the east coast. All will be underwater, and I will tell you before it is to happen. You will know ahead of time. I began to talk to him and ask him many questions. I ask him, how will I know and how will I get out? I began to sweat profusely. He said, I will show you only the ones who are listening to me will escape. There will be no other place to run. All will be flooded. I ask him, will people go to the north? And he said, it will do them no good. It will all be flooded, all the way up and down the coast. I was perplexed. I asked him, will they run to the west? He said, it will do him them no good, for they will have no place to go. It too will be flooded. The water will come in so fast, they will not be able to outrun it. It will run over the land to many states inland as far as 300 miles. Many will die. I asked, will they go to the mountains? He said, no. I will tell you, there is no escape. So I called my pastor friend, telling him all about my vision. He told me he had been having many dreams about floods coming to the coast also. So he was looking for a motor home. He was going to buy it to outrun the flood. And then I told him that the Lord said, No, it will come too fast. That he needed to pray. I told him that he needed to pray and God will tell him what to do. So he stopped looking for the motor home and God told him to wait for instructions. Recently, Yahweh told me only the ones that were listening to him and knew his codes, for he talks in codes, would escape all the up and coming disasters coming upon the earth before the Lord's return. You do not have to be a special person to hear from him, but you do have to know him and you do have to have a relationship with him. Now, when we read in Jeremiah 51 and 4, we see that the sea will sweep over Babylon. She will be covered by a multitude of waves. We all know that New York is the seat of Babylon. If you read The End Has Come, you will see with no doubt that this is true. I have recently found on YouTube a video. I will place a link to it in the box. It's another person. Her name is Elizabeth. She too has had a vision of this flood. Yahweh is telling his children to wake up, to learn, to hear his voice, and to trust in him. The Bible says that the, wa that the waters will come out of their place in the end times. In the beginning, Yahweh told the waters to stop so they would not flood the land, but now they have lost their boundaries because of our sin. This is not a joke. Please leave your comments below. And if you've had a similar dream, please, please, or a vision, share it with us. 
God is warning us all, not just some of us, so we will wake up and know him in a new way. And if you do not know him, I'm placing a link of my teaching of how to get to know him in the box. And I hope this has opened your eyes today. May Yahweh bless you in a mighty blessing way today. This has been Ruby. Have a blessed day and may I soon meet you in the air. Goodbye.